With the words of my second favorite Formula One driver, Lando Norris, yeah, boy! What am I excited about today? What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Press 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. There's a lot of news going on in a racing world this weekend. Holy frickeroni. Um, I will tell you guys in a minute about what am I super excited about. Oh, my God. Um, okay. So, first off, so everybody knows about what happened with Jimmy Johnson. He tested positive for coronavirus. He got it from his wife. He had to sit out in the 2020 Brickyard 400. Justin Allgaard took place, but he's got that 48 curse. And then, earlier today, uh, earlier today, um, it was announced that Jimmy Johnson is going to be racing at Kentucky. Ugh, Kentucky. But hey, he's back on track. Hopefully he can win a race before he finishes his career. In the Formula One world, Fernando Alonso, the two-time Formula One world champion, is back with Renault next year, replacing Daniel Ricciardo because Ricciardo is going to McLaren, and Fernando Alonso is going to Renault. They're going to be reunited. I don't know how that's going to go. I guess I'll see how it goes next year. Um, okay, now, now the big deal of why I was excited, because, because NASCAR and ARCA is not going to be going to Watkins Glen, because the governor of New York does not have the waiver of having racing at the Glen, the replacement from Watkins Glen for this year is going to be the Daytona Road Course, baby! Oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, it is next month. I cannot believe that NASCAR and ARCA is going to be racing at Daytona next month. Unbelievable. I know some of you guys are wondering, Ian, why are you so excited about the Daytona Road Course? Because Daytona is my not only my all-time favorite NASCAR track, but it is my all-time favorite racetrack ever when it comes to iconic racetracks and all-time in general. Um, I've always wanted to see NASCAR race at the Daytona Road Course. Originally, before COVID, it was supposed to happen in the 2021 Clash for the Cup Cars, the last race of the Gen 6, and then... COVID ruined it. However, with this big news, it's a dream. Come, I'll say this once again, just like February. Or no, 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 March, March. It's a dream come true to see stock cars at the Daytona Road Course. Honestly, I don't give a crap if it's a boring race. I don't care if it's exciting. What I really care is that NASCAR racing at the Daytona Road Course happen. It's happening. I can't believe it. This is truly... This is truly a big win after losing to Glenn. I love Watkins Glen. One of my all-time favorite NASCAR tracks, too. But having the Daytona Road Course... Holy cow. This, it means so much to me. It's a dream come true. And we're not only going to have the Cup Series, but we're going to have the ARCA race at the Daytona Road Course on Friday. And then I believe Saturday is going to be the Xfinity race. And then there's going to be two races on Sunday. The, the Truck Series and the Cup Series. Woo! Boy, oh boy. 2020 has been a huge pain. And honestly, having the Daytona Road Course in NASCAR six months early, personally, it's a gift for me. It's been a gift. There's been like a lot of stuff that NASCAR fans wanted to see. And with this year, with the pandemic, like we've been getting a lot of good, cool stuff. The double headers, um, weekday races, all that cool stuff. And we're going to see, 
IndyCar racing at Road America twice, and then Iowa twice. Um, NASCAR, we're going to have a doubleheader at Michigan with no fans. And Dover, they're still deciding if they want fans or not. So, yeah. Man. Woo! My God, man. This year sucks. I hate this year. I hate 2020. I'm sure everybody does. This year sucks in general because of the virus, the racism stuff. Uh, everyone's still being racist. I don't know, dude. And then Trump being a little a little coward on Twitter on Monday to Bubba Wallace. Honestly, Donald Trump, stop focusing on... Stop, stop crapping on Bubba and actually focus on this damn country. This country's been a joke this year because nobody can take this virus seriously. And there's a lot of people who are like, all lives matter and all that stuff. I don't know. I really wanted to go personal about the Trump um, tweet. But I don't know. If you guys want me to do that, I will do so. But this is a positive video. I will end that topic. But to have the Daytona Road Course, I know I'm probably repeating myself. It means a lot to me. If the dream come true and to have it earlier than expected, wow. Just wow. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful to me. Daytona is and will always be my favorite racetrack ever. Whether it's the oval or the road course. And I'm excited to see how stock cars racing at the Daytona Road Course will turn out. I hope it goes well because the Xfinity race at the Brickyard Road Course, it turned out amazing. The entire Brickyard weekend was a success. So I'm really hoping that the Daytona Road Course is a success as well. Like, when everything's like um, COVID free or when it really isn't, when everything's like, hey, the way it was, who knows what's going to happen with NASCAR in the future with the dates on the road course. However, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is only because we lost Watkins Glen. Most sports uh, in Canada for the truck race, we lost Iowa. We lost Eldora. Like, we're trying to make up a bunch of races. So, yeah. I don't want to get ahead of myself about the future NASCAR races with the dates on the road course. I want to wait on that because this is... As of now, it's a temporary thing. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. Okay? Trust me. I am very excited to see NASCAR at the Daytona Road Course. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want to see how it goes next month. If it's a success, that's great. If it's not, hey, we tried. At least it happened. But hey, we're going to have the Daytona Road Course racing at the Clash at Daytona. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited, but I don't want, I do not want to get ahead of myself and jump to conclusions. Let's see how it goes next month. I'm excited. How about you guys? Are you excited about stock cars racing at the Daytona Road Course for the first time? Feel free to let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited. Feel free to tell me if you want. If you're not, tell me the reason why. But be uh, but be respectful because NASCAR, the NASCAR fan is, is not respectful. No, they're not. Woo! They're just a bunch of... They're not easy to handle. But yeah. So, that will do it for today's video. I know I gave uh, some news about Jimmy. Thankfully, thank goodness he's okay. He'll be racing. Fernando Alonso... Uh, Fernando Alonso Freddie is coming back to Formula 1 next year. I don't know how that's going to turn out. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Because Renault is garbage with Daniel Ricciardo. As a Ricciardo fan, at this point, I'm so close to say F Renault. Honestly, I know you guys are like, why aren't you cursing? I'm trying not to curse a lot. I'm, I've been a curse for since 
for a while and since the pandemic so i'm trying to like take it easy but yeah screw run out honestly i i am so excited for danny ricardo and lando norris being teammates my two favorite formula one drivers and mclaren's gonna have mercedes power so yeah and hell even mclaren lando got the podium on sunday so i <laughs> I know they were going to get points and some podium, but holy crap. I know it was because Hamilton got a five-second penalty, but wow. That's hell yeah, Landon Norris. And I really hope McLaren continues to improve, especially with Mercedes power next year. So yeah, I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm press 25 and EMPress40 underscore IT. Like my Facebook page. Ian Asker 48 Initiative Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications. Click on that bell for more content. And, um, whew. for racing fans, there has been some things that has been a gift for us racing fans. Daytona Road Course is one of them to me. And the Indy Road Course. Actually, the Indy Road Course was announced before the pandemic, so scratch that. So, yeah. I think that's it for now. Thank you guys for supporting E Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.